second job was Twilight Zone, one of three that I did, the original Twilight Zones. And I will never forget to this day um, how we did everything on one soundstage at MGM Studios. And everything was so, the shows then, the Twilight Zone shows, were character driven and story driven. They didn't need a lot of props, they didn't need a lot of scenery, they didn't need any special effects. Everything came out of the writing, the direction, and the acting, which is so kind of so different from today. And one of my one of my best memories and, and one that's embedded in my brain is the image of Rod Serling sitting in the shadows with his cigarette on the soundstage. Wow, you could smoke on a soundstage. <laughs> it was amazing. And he was in a, a, a high director's chair, sitting way off to the side with his cigarette, watching everything going on. And I'll never forget that. Um, he was a very hands-on, creative guy, wanted to make sure everything was right. And that was the first one that I did. That followed up, and he was always around and, and um, you know, making little comments. Later, when I when I did the the one that I loved, the uh, Twilight Zone with Jackie Cooper that I did, but um, yeah, one of my fondest memories. Tell me the three episodes. Uh, the Twilight Zones, the three episodes that I did. Uh, the first one was called Nightmare as a Child. The sec that was very early, about 1957, I what believe. Was, what was in what was the episode? The episode was about a school teacher who had witnessed a murder as a child and she, she subconsciously meets herself as a child who comes back and it all comes out and she meets herself and doesn't realize that it's herself as a child. Um, the second one I did was when the format of Twilight Zone went to an hour and uh, that one was, I believe, the title was something like Welcome to Pleasant Valley. But it was a beautiful, serene town that anything that went wrong, we had little machines that we could make things disappear if we didn't like it. We could change, uh, we could change time to go backwards if we didn't, if we didn't like something. Um, that was the second one. And the third one, which was my favorite, was called Caesar and Me. And it was with Jackie Cooper. He was a ventriloquist who was out of work, had a dummy that talked on its own, and had him um, uh, rob banks and nightclubs. And I was this nasty, this was the beginning of my evil days, this nasty, rotten little kid who, um, at the end of the show, runs off with the dummy. <laughs> you like playing evil, don't you? Oh my gosh, that was the beginning. That was the beginning of my of my evil days.